we'll run down through them. Mm. That one I like a lot. It adds some spice to it. No, it has a little bit of a ginger kick, like a little haya. Back by absolutely zero demand. I am here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'm very awkward and strange, but I'm very passionate about food and everything related to food. So I'm excited for today's video. If the title hasn't already given it away, I am going to be taste testing ginger beer today. Different brands. I just went to Total Wine and World Market and I got a variation of different ginger beers. So today I am going to be trying them out. I'm going to decide on my favorite one and then rate them and see which one my favorite one is and then whoever the winner is i will make a moscow mule later this week because today's monday night so i so i prefer not to drink tonight see if this transition works wow magic all right so here are the ginger beers that i will be tasting i have six brands total i'll go through them really quickly i got barrett's bundaberg reeds favor tree cock and bull q beer and this is another reeds this one is extra gingery and this one's the strongest ginger, gingery flavor that they have. Reed's strongest is 200% more than the original, so it's pretty intense. Here are Fernanda's expectations of what fulfills a good ginger beer. For me personally, I really like the taste of ginger. I like it really strong, really spicy. I want it to kick me in the face, spicy. I want it to have kick and I want it to be very gingery. I don't want it to be too sweet. I don't want it to be sugary. Blah, blah. A good aroma, maybe? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. So I have my ginger beers all set up in, in these little mason jars, and I'm just gonna run down through them. I have water here to cleanse my palate. I'm gonna start with Barrett's. Made with pure cane sugar, Bermuda's favorite. Cool. No. <laughs> Not a big fan of Barrett's. It's very sweet. It tastes almost like simple syrup. Moving on. All right, next I'm gonna try Bundaberg. This is an Australian family owned ginger beer. Let's try this one. It's good. Kind of mild on the ginger flavor though. It doesn't have a lot of spiciness. If you're someone that doesn't love the strong kick of ginger, but you want a ginger, the ginger flavor for the Moscow Mule, that's pretty solid. Let me uh, cleanse my palate here. All right, next up, I'm going to try the Reed's Extra. This is the one that has 100% more ginger than the original brand. They didn't have the original brand at Total Wine, so I just got the 100% more and the strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this 100% more. Cheers. Reeds is, let me try that again. It kind of tastes like ginger ale, so I don't think I'm a fan. You know what, no, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, I, I, I didn't really love it. I'm gonna try the next one. All right, so next up I am going to try Fever Tree. What I like about this one so far, just from reading it, is that it's made with natural flavors, including natural gingers. So no artificial sweeteners in this one, so that's a nice perk. That's really nice. That's pretty nice. Ooh, I like this one. It's tickling my nose. This one is really good. It has a very floral aroma and then it also has some kick to it and it just tastes like straight up ginger. I really like this one. Cleanse. Next up, I'm going to try Cock and Bull. This one makes a pretty bold claim. They claim that they, we invented the Moscow Mule. It's not, if it's not made with cock and bull, it's not an authentic Moscow mule. And they have a little picture of a bar and it says the cock and bull is the birthplace of the Moscow mule. So that's interesting. So I'm gonna try this one next. It does have a gingery kick, but it is a little bit on the sweet side. Next up, I'm gonna try Q beer. This one says spicy, less sweet, more carbonation. Sounds very promising. The ingredients are organic agave, citric acid, ginger extract, 
extracts of chili pepper, coriander, cardamom, lime, and orange. Sounds very interesting. I've actually tried this one before, but it's been a, it's been a minute. Mmm, that one I like a lot. It has a lot of kick. I like that one. Ooh, it adds some spice to it. It's very spicy and strong, but not very sweet. All right, so the final beer is Reed's. So they have a little chart here. They have three tiers of ginger beers. They have light, medium, strong. So I already tried this medium. Now I'm gonna try the strong. I'm not excited for this one because I didn't really care for that one. All right, so last one to try. Let's see how it tastes. No. I don't taste a difference in strength between these two. These are not very good. I can't say I'm a fan of either one, unfortunately. All right, so now that I've tasted all of these, I am going to rate them from worst to best. Based on the criteria that I went over earlier, I am going to pick my top three. I'm just gonna pick my top three, because to be honest, I only like three of them. <laughs> I only fucking like three of these ginger beers, so it works out kind of nicely. Coming in third place is Bundaberg. I like this. It's milder but it's just a clean, good flavor. I actually like this one, even though it didn't have that super strong kick, it did have a nice, clean, authentic, gingery flavor. So this guy comes in at number three. Number two is Q Beer. I would say Q Beer is my second favorite. Uh, it is really spicy and I tend to sweat with spicy, so I'm already sweating enough in Arizona, but I really, really, really like this one. Q Beer comes in at second place. I really liked it. it, has a really good kick, and it's not too sweet. I recommend. My favorite, my number one. Coming in at number one, probably not a big surprise, but Fever Tree, my dog is eating in the background, I'm sorry. And my favorite is Fever Tree. It's not as spicy as the Q Ginger Beer, but it's still got a really, really strong ginger punch, and it also is just very clean tasting, and it has a really good aroma, almost like botanical, just very natural. I like that it's just, it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners in it, so that's a big plus for me. Conveniently, I will have lids so I can put them away, not waste them. Coming in in fourth place is Cock and Bull. Let me taste it again, actually. I don't know if it has real ginger in it, because a lot of these other ones have real ginger in them. This one says it has 100% natural ginger flavor, so I don't know if it even has real ginger in it. It just leaves something to be desired. It has a little bit of a ginger kick, maybe not like a roundhouse kick, but maybe like a little ya, like a baby kick, like maybe a bird threw a pebble at you and you were like, what was that? That's kind of the kick it has, it's not super strong. The word I have for this one is just artificial. These three, these three, trash to me, trash, basura. These ones I would not recommend and I would not buy them again. I'm sorry, I don't like to brand bash, but I just was not really taken. It's all just, they may as well be the same thing to me. They're all just not good. I just didn't feel captivated. This one's way too sweet. This one tastes like sugary, simple syrup. No bueno. Oh, it's recording. Oh fuck, I was recording the whole time. <laughs> oh. Welcome back guys, today is Friday and I'm going to make that Moscow Mule recipe they mentioned earlier with that good ass fever tree ginger beer. Just got a haircut, so if I'm a little extra sassy, that's why. First, please compliment my hair. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I just got it cut today and it feels so much healthier and so much better. I feel like such a tomboy sometimes because I'm not really good at doing really girly things for myself. I wait until the situation is really bad. I realized that I hadn't cut my hair since January, so it was long overdue. I feel so much sassier. I feel so much better. Better, it feels lighter, it feels healthier. <sighs> I'm having a moment. Me and my hair are gonna make it. All right, if you have a Moscow Mule cup, bust that bitch out. Add some ice, add two ounces of vodka, and then you're gonna add four ounces of ginger beer. A squeeze of lime juice. 
Looks like I have a little bit of room left. Adding just a splash more of ginger beer. We stir this up gently. You want to stir it up gently so that you don't lose the carbonation in the soda. Add a little lime garnish if you're feeling fancy. And that's it. You are all done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Doses. Thank you.